Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann. I'm your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Barolo. Barolo, the king of Italian wines. That's the agenda today. We had several videos in the last few months on Italian wines, particularly on Brunello di Montalcino, one of my favorite Italian wines. But we only had one video two years ago on the king of Italian wines, the Barolo from the Piedmont region. The Piedmont region is up there in the north and western part of Italy. South of Turin, the big industrial city where Fiat comes from. Barolo is made out of the Nebbiolo grape. It's a grape that's pretty tough to grow, but it's an interesting grape, difficult grape. You typically drink it old. You're talking 10 years or so, 10 years plus even. Good Barolos, well cellared, can last until 30 years old. So the recent good vintages were 2017, 94 points rated for the entire vintage by Wine Spectator. 2016 was the best of the decade, 98 points. 2015, 95 points. 2014, not quite as good. 2013, 96 points. 2012, 94 points. And 2010, 97. So if you go back, in the last decade, 2016 the best year, 2010 the second best year, and 2013 the third best year with 96 points all over. And we want to drink here and try the 2013s because the 16s or 17s or 15s, they're, they're really not ready yet. But the 2013s, they should be getting into the strike zone of drinking a beautiful Barolo. The fruit profile that you would expect is more red fruit than black fruit, more strawberry, maybe a little bit of plum, maybe some raspberry in there, certainly a little bit of cherry. And then there is, because of the aging process and because of the winemaking techniques, a lot of secondary and tertiary flavors like leather, tar, um, even sometimes minerals, tobacco, or even a little bit of licorice. So let's look out for those particular taste profiles. I'm starting off here with contestant number one, Arnaldo Rivera, 2013 Barolo, Undici Comuni. Let's get that baby opened. And yes, I always recommend Barolos to be decanted because they do have a pretty high tannin profile. Ladies and gentlemen, and I have with me here in this show, as in every show, my longtime friend and partner, the Corkow. All right, wine number one, Arnoldo Rivera. $35, ladies and gentlemen, legendary price for a Barolo. 3.9 on Vivino, 93 points in the Wine Spectator. Let's see what we see here. The wine is in the middle between Ruby and Garnet. I'd say a little bit more Garnet than Ruby. Fine lines in the glass indicating medium to high alcohol content. This bottle here is 14% alcohol, so it just qualifies at the lower limit of high. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Dust, Piedmont dust in the nose, a little bit of cherry, a little bit of strawberry coming out. I feel the tar in the aroma 
I think I have a hint of leather. Let's give it a whirl. The wine is medium bodied. It has, at this point in time, medium tannins. It has also a medium plus acidity in it. There is strawberry flavors, but they are laid back. A hint of cherry also on the tongue. But the secondary and tertiary flavors like tar and leather that I smelled before, I don't really feel as much on the tongue. So based on the rather rich aromas, but limited flavor profiles, I give this wine a 3.9. And with that, I'm in the middle of where all the Vivino average users are. Let's go to wine number two. This Barolo is the Gigi Rosso and Gigi Rosso Arione Reserva del Olivo. 2013, Gigi Rosso. Gigi Rosso is highly acclaimed by Wine Spectator, got a 95 point, whereas the average Vivino user is giving it 4.0. This bottle is uh, almost double, actually more than double, than the Arnaldo Rivera. It's uh, $76 on average. cork pops right out and the cork owl had the appetizer now it is time for the main course cork owl. this one will also be decanted here we go color is medium garnet fine lines in the glass a little bit thicker than the previous one, indicating higher alcohol and higher sugar content. And indeed, this bottle is 40.5% alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Strawberry, but elegant, laid back strawberry. A little bit of cherry. Leather, a little bit of tar. A hint of tobacco. Let's give it a whirl. Clearly, tar and tobacco as secondary tertiary flavors in the wine. Cherry, strawberry are the main food components. The tobacco is just well integrated. There's a little bit of a minerality. Uh, flavor in the wine. I like this wine a lot. I give this wine a 4.5. That brings us to wine number three. Wine number three is the Asheri 2013 Barolo. Cock again pops right out. And this is now dessert time for the cock owl. So let's uh, also decant the Giacomo uh, Sherry. Vivino 4.0, Wine Spectator 93 points. And this bottle retails for $43. Okay, let's pour a little bit in our glass. Significantly more garnet than the other two Barolos. The other two were darker and more garnet to ruby. This is really light and garnet. It's a medium garnet color. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Cherry, no doubt. Red berries, like raspberry in here. Also a little bit of leather. Some rose petal. 
dried flowers. It's a beautiful plethora of different aromas. Let's give it a whirl. Medium acidity, no more tannins. It's a medium bodied wine. It's high alcohol. On the fruit level, it's the um, berries and the cherry that come out. A little bit of tobacco and sweet spice in the mouth. Uh, it's a very easy drinking summer red. I give it a 4.2. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the show. The clear winner, in my judgment, is the GG Rosso. They got a 4.5 by me. It's a Wine Spectator 95 point wine. $76. The 2013 is beautifully able to drink right now. But I have no doubt that this wine will also last another 5 to 10 years. That's the show for today. If you like this show, Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'm also a big ticket raider on Vivino. So follow me on Vivino and follow my show. And I see you next Sunday. <laughs>